Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy with Craft and Cake with Billy. Super excited to have you guys here with me today. If you are new here to my channel, I would love to welcome you here. I'm so happy you're here. And if you are returning, welcome back. Today, I thought we could take a little bit of time and flip through this junk journal. I have created a sort of shabby, chic, girly, pinkish, um, vintage, all of that in this one journal. Uh, this is a revamped journal. I actually made it maybe two years ago and I decided to go back, take everything out of it and start over again. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but I love to create junk journals and I'm running out of room to put them in my she shed. So I just kind of go and get some of the journals that I made previously and take them apart and do something different to them. So that's one thing I've been doing lately. I will still be making new ones, but for now, that's just one thing that I've been working on. Um, so let me get into this journal. I made this beautiful snippet roll. Um, I have a video on how to make these that I'll link below, but I'm using the snippet roll as a closure to my journal. This is a gator mouth journal. It does not close. It is nice and chunky. Oh, so many goodies inside. I added several of these beautiful flowers, as well as this flower, which I made a pearl center. Um, I added some appliques, some lace, some cute little altered keys here. Um, this was sent to me from a crafty friend. I made this one and then added some cute little buttons. I hand stitched, as you can see the pink stitching there, I hand stitched all along the edges. Um, I also used a placemat for the cover. This is a two signature journal. Um, and I added a couple buttons there. And the back of it has appliques, a nice pretty pink lace pocket, and a tag flip that we will get to. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into this journal. I just love it so much. Okay, so you know I like to tell stories when I do <laughs> some of my um, flip throughs just to make it a bit interesting. So I am gonna tell the story of Evelyn. And this is Evelyn's journal where she keeps all of her thoughts and concerns and her whatever happens in her daily life. So this is Evelyn. And she is fancy. She likes to wear all different sorts of uh, headdresses and necklaces. And I love that image. So that's Evelyn. Um, I added a heart pocket here with a, actually this is the top of um, a bag that someone sent me. But I like the way that kind of fits down in there. You can see her. There's some lace. There is a nice cluster there. Um, on this side, I added a pocket. This is just an envelope here with nothing in it right now. This is some coffee dye paper. I used a corner pocket here that I made with some trim and some pretty flowers that were sent to me. If you contributed anything to this journal, thank you so very much. I can't always remember everybody's name on hand, but thank you in advance. Um, so here I added some beautiful lace. I love that lace. Y'all know I am all things pink and all things girly, all things lacy. Love it. Okay, on my next page, I fussy cut this beautiful pink flower and I used it as a pocket. I inked around there. 
And then I added a cute little polka dot card, some beautiful script there. And then here I have some beautiful trim. I used some vintage wood paper for the base of that. I added a belly band. Um, and this is Evelyn's sister, Elizabeth. She is pretty dainty. Evelyn loves her sister. So she added her to the journal. Here is some pink dyed paper. I just used some food coloring to dye. By the way, guys, if you see anything in this journal that looks interesting and you would like to make, I will try to link everything below in the description. Um, I try to have all the tutorials and stuff down in the description in case you're interested in making something that you see. Um, here I added some beautiful trim in green and gold. Okay, on this page, I added some lace and then some paper for writing that I inked around and I just kind of tore the edges. I wanted it to look vintage. Just added that cute little rose cluster. Here is a flip, it flips out. There's some paper for writing. Okay, I added a slanted pocket here with some pink trim. I used some vintage paper here, some really pretty floral images. And I think this book was from like the 1920s or 1930s. Here's another cute little tag that I inked around um, this paper here. I wanted it to, to make it interesting. So I sprayed it with some Tim Holtz alcohol ink. Here is some trim that I liked. Some more of that green and gold trim. Um, this image here that I absolutely love, I made a master board and I loved it so much that I made copies of it. And now I use it as some of the pages in my journals. So that is a wonderful way to kind of um, hold on to some of the work that you like that you don't want to use it all or get rid of it so that's what I did for that um, I added this cluster of material here look at that isn't that gorgeous and some lace some more of that pretty trim some script I love that and some more of that collaged master board here is a cluster a paper cluster I'll link that video below these are super easy to make and they are wonderful to have in your stash it's wonderful to just be able to pull out a cluster and stick it in your junk journals okay here I added a side pocket with some flowers I added a vintage music sheet that I splattered with alcohol ink I love that look. Some of that vintage looking wood paper. I made a flip here using some collaged pieces. And there's a little postcard that sticks in the pocket. So I hope everybody out there is doing well. Um, I haven't been making a whole lot of videos lately, been super busy, but um, I'm still thinking about you guys just to let you know. Um, okay, this page is a smaller page and I fussy cut this beautiful floral image. I made a pocket here that I collaged. Um, here is a bookmark that we made together using cereal boxes. Isn't that cute? I will link that video below as well. Um, so the next page, I added this cute little typewriter, some beautiful fabric. I love the frayed look. Just gives it a whole nother element. Um, I added some 
coffee dyed paper here. And here is Evelyn's other sister, Etta. And she is the firecracker. Look at her. She has all kinds of personality. And she's a fashionista. Okay. Okay, and then I added another cluster here with another beautiful image here. And this is their mother, Carolyn. She watches over them. So there's Carolyn. I hope you guys enjoy my story. It's just, <laughs> it's just a way to keep it a bit humorous sometimes. Okay. All right, check out this beautiful shabby flower with the blinged out center, love it. I added a side pocket here with a long stem rose, a collaged bookmark with a butterfly, some vintage paper, some washi tape. So cute. And then the paper on the base is paper that just spells love. Some more washi tape, some trim there, and a beautiful dimensional sticker. A little mini tag, and the tag has this beautiful flower. Can you see that flower? It kind of looked like that one, so I just kind of hung it from that small tag. Okay, moving on. Um, there's another cluster, some beautiful pink trim on coffee dye paper. Here's a belly band here, washi tape. And here is a tag that we made together. And look at that tassel. And I attached it with a bulb pin. I like that big pocket there. So that goes right into the belly band. Okay, on the next page, I have another belly band. And I have some music paper, just a spot for writing that I just inked all around and in the crease. Added some pretty trim there. I added a bird here that says love. There's a butterfly. This opens. There's some beautiful paper. And I think there's just a card that I made here. If I can get it out. It's just a card here that I made that has a belly band and a tag and just a personal space for writing. I also included a mini paper bag that you will see here, and I used it as a pocket. It serves as a pocket. There's a tag, and then there is a bird in a bird cage that I stamped up there. Some pretty trim. Here is a beautiful wax seal, some beautiful script paper, and I spray painted, I sprayed alcohol ink on that page just to make it interesting. Here's another flower that I inked around, fussy cut, added a button there. Here's another one of those cute little tags with a little heart dangle. This opens and then there's just another spot, a little card there, postcard there. It's always nice to have little spaces for writing. Um, here is another collaged pocket, another bookmark that I made from a cereal box. I feel like I am missing a couple things. <laughs> I hope not. Anyway, this opens and there is extra space for writing. 
I have a lot of flip outs in here. Well, a few at least, making sure I haven't forgotten about them. Um, so I added a coffee dyed pocket, this cute little flower that someone sent me, a nice little baggy pocket in the back with just a little card there. And I also took some tea bags and took all of the contents out of them because I like the look of an empty tea bag. And I just stuck it right down into that pocket. Just adds an extra element of surprise. <laughs> and it is a junk journal, so you never know what you'll find in a junk journal, right? Okay, so this is a, another beautiful piece here, long stem rose with some music notes. This one flips up space for writing here. And I also added a dress form. Can you see that the dress form up here? So cute. Let me show you this too. Top of the dress form, I've added this cute little clothes hanger. Is that not the cutest thing? Let me show you. Look at that little clothes hanger. I love that so much. I thought it would look great with the dress form, so kind of just hung it from that little tab. Okay, we're almost done. Um, so the next page there's a belly band here on coffee dot paper. A couple of tags for writing. So Evelyn is gonna write all sorts of stuff about her family and her sisters. And in a second, you're gonna meet her love interest. Um, so check out this one. Isn't that a pretty, 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 pretty paper? I love this paper. It's a pop of green. It's a really bright pop of color in this journal, but I just love it so much. Look at these little tiny envelopes. So cute. I'll link those down below. Um, okay, here I added a tag that serves as a pocket, a library card, and a fussy cut flower here that you can tuck things behind. I'm gonna stick that mini envelope back in here. This is the second signature. I have added a gold paper clip that holds in these beautiful roses. So beautiful. Okay, here's another beautiful pink image of flowers. And here is Evelyn's sister, Frances. She is the shy one. Very sweet little sister, Frances. And she loves her pearls. Love that image. Okay, stick her right in here. And here's some beautiful script paper there. Uh, on this page, there's another tag and some more beautiful paper. And we find another little sister, Sarah. Sarah is also pretty shy and pretty quiet, but she loves um, all things girly. Okay, there's a space for writing here. This opens up for more writing. And back on this page, we find Evelyn's love interest, Samuel. He's a handsome guy, handsome fella. He's all dressed up here. These are some young first loves, I guess. Um, on this side, I used a leather 
circle round here. And I just stuck a piece of paper in here, sort of like a, a letter that he wants to give to Evelyn. Okay, here is another coffee dot paper. Here's a collage tag that I added a cute little golden paper clip there. On this page is a butterfly image with some graph paper and some beautiful trim. And here we find Delilah. Delilah has lots of pearls and I liked the look of adding dimensional pearls to a flat image. So I always like the look of writing and then having like an image right there in the center. Really cool. There's some pretty paper here, some coffee dye paper that I use an edge punch to create this nice effect. I sprayed some Tim Holtz ink on this paper. Um, here is a cute little button and this flips up for writing. There's some pink chiffon trim. And here is a little card for writing love and then here i just sprayed the paper there just for the fun of it but this is a wonderful spot for writing okay i added a tuck here this card that i made with the belly band and the belly band is actually material some fabric Stick that behind there. Okay, we're almost at the end. Okay, so Evelyn decided to add in her all-girls school, a picture of her friends. And so, look at this beautiful image. Stuck that right in the pocket. There is some, a little sheet there with some handwriting. Um, here is a fussy cut piece, and I added this just to the pocket. Okay. On this page, I added a pocket with a doily and a cute journaling tag there. Another journaling tag behind that one. Here's a butterfly with one of those cute little tags. Okay, another one of those clusters. Blank space for writing. Another blank space for writing. And then I added a envelope here with a surprise tuck behind it. A wax seal. And this opens and has some paper for writing. This here is a flip book that we made together using a cereal box. And it has the vintage papers, which is a wonderful spot for writing as well. Here's a spot for writing. And then I added a paper clip here, some trim there. Um, I kind of paper clip those together, but there's another spot for writing behind that. And this is a ticket some ticket craft paper with this beautiful floral image. And that is the end of my journal, but I wanna show you the flip tag that we made together here that's in the back pocket. And my flip tag is made from a cereal box as well. And it has this beautiful charm dangle and it opens this way. So it flips out. There's a pocket here. Let's see if I can get this out. Yeah, so there's a pocket there and also a pocket here. So I really 
do hope you guys enjoyed my journal. This was so much fun to put together. And like I said, I will add all of the related videos below so that if you see something that you may be interested in making, you can have the opportunity to do so. Um, if you're not yet a subscriber of my channel, please take the opportunity to do that. I would appreciate it so very much. I don't want you to miss anything. Also, go back and check out any videos that you may have missed. I have lots and lots of videos on this channel. Um, so yeah, if you would give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you and subscribe. Thank you so very much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.